We want to have a bit of a closer look at Aboriginal leader Teresa Spence, what she's been going through, because mm -hmm. you may know she's been on a hunger strike. She has not eaten solid food since December the 11th. And she's surviving, we understand, on a liquid diet of things like medicinal teas, fish broth, and vitamins. With us now, Julie Daniluk, a nutritionist and author of Meals That Heal Inflation. Hi, Julie. Hello. So fish broth day after day, what does that do for you? Well, fish broth does contain small amounts of omega-3, which is uh, very important for her. It does have 30 to 40 calories per cup, uh, but you would have to be drinking vast quantities of it to have any sort of sustenance. My concern is the average human being needs between 1,600 and 1,800 calories just to sit up in bed. Mm -hmm. And I know that she's continuing uh, quite a campaign. So I know that she's going to be feeling weak and exhausted um, and that this hunger strike is very difficult on her for sure. Yeah, and, and we also mentioned she's uh, ingesting some vitamins, medicinal teas, but really, mm -hmm. I mean, it's, it's barely anything. And what does this do? to one's body? Well, it is extremely harmful to the immune system. Uh, after three days, know that she goes into something called ketosis, where she starts to break down her muscles, fat, and even organs uh, to, to help sustain her. So I'm very concerned about her long-term health. It's going to really play havoc to her, her hormonal system, her immune system, uh, certainly her bone density as, as a woman who uh, certainly needs to be concerned about that. Um, I, I am uh, thinking that this is a very brave measure that she's undergoing, and we do see uh, much more media attention paid to people willing to go through hunger strikes. So it is unfortunate that people feel they have to take such extreme measures. Yeah. Uh does it matter how old you are? Does it matter which sex you are? Well, know that women do have higher mineral needs, for sure. It's, it's certainly a woman in her age category. Um, I am relieved to hear that she is taking medicinal teas. I hope that there is some calcium magnesium in those teas. Things, you know, native teas that she might be taking are things like nettle leaf, which is high in, in minerals. Uh, but, but just the fact that she's, she's existing on probably, two, I'm guessing, between 100 and 200 calories a day when the average person requires close to 2,000 mm -hmm. puts that in perspective, uh, so how exhausting it must be. One can come off a diet, maybe recover somewhat. Is there any lasting damage? I mean, certainly she's not the first to endure a hunger mm -hmm. strike. Others have as well. But the toll that it does take, is there lasting damage? Yeah, it's very hard on the digestive tract. Know that uh, once we go through our initial, we can exist on the glucose on board in our system for only three days. And then we go into ketosis and start to burn muscle and fat. And uh, I know that long term, uh, this can damage the digestive tract because we actually rob L-glutamine from the gut to keep the brain going. So it can really cause serious digestive damage. And I am concerned that uh, she be very careful how she breaks her fast. Um, I actually helped a hunger striker uh, who was protesting uranium, Donna Dillman, who actually was managed to get a uranium mine out of her own backyard. She was on a hunger strike for 68 days. And uh, coming off a hunger strike that intense, it's very important to be nourished with things like sweet potatoes, soup, and things that are completely broken down. Uh, you know, shakes that would be extremely easy to digest because we have to wake up the digestive system very slowly. If we do it as a shock, um, it can be very harmful for sure. Nutritionist and author Julie Daniluk. Thanks very much, Julie. Super. Take care.